she reaches his aim. He's written up in the Rich Hall of Fame. His bank account is as rich as his name. That's Rich, Richie Rich. The Richie Rich Scooby Doo Show. It's Scrappy too. Now just finish up that burger and we'll be done. <laughs> Hurry up with that burger. <laughs> Will you finish that burger? Well, Duke, I'm eating as fast as I can. Now at Burger King, the magic two. I put in the yellow square, then a red one. Ta-da! They changed places! Three to kids, 12 and younger, at a participating Burger King. You have to put it together. The magic two. Push over the game up, take it back riding, bumping and dumping and sliding. Push over. She slides past the pot and picks up the chip. Ten chips will win, she's got to be quick. Push over. He can roll three dice or two or just one, but if they total past four, his turn is done. Dynamite. He rolls just right. He pushes one out and the chips are inside. Up from behind, around the bend. It seemed he was losing, but he's going to win. Push over. Pushover, new from Parker Brothers. Professor Keenbean's new additions to my game room are sure neat, Dollar. I can't wait to try out my new basketball court. Watch this shot, Dollar. She's simply adorable. I hate to leave my itty-bitty baby, but we're late for the opera. <coughs> oh, don't cry. See the pretty diamond. <laughs> <laughs> she loves diamonds just like you do. Oh, she's so adorable. Let's put her to bed in your old nursery, Richie. Good idea, Mom. Dollar and I will babysit while you're at the opera. Grab a bite in Richie's cradle In the crib bridge She'll sleep on the table <laughs> Shh, Dollar We finally got her to sleep From Miss Penny Pooley. Who is it, Cadbury? A large teddy bear, Master Richie. How charming. A gift for baby Penny. To my darling Penny, who I miss very much. Signed, Papa Poorly. Hmm. If Penny's father is so poor, where did he get the money for this expensive gift? <laughs> <laughs> There's something strange going on here. Yeah, yeah. Hmm? I'll explain later. Come on. Huh? The Keen Bean automatic babysitter will let us keep an eye on Penny. Hiya, 
penny? What took you so long, Lump? You think it's easy finding an eight-foot-tall teddy bear? Beanie's waiting outside with a getaway truck. Good. I knew something was phony. Real. <laughs> We've got to capture them before Mom gets home. If she found out Penny was a dishonest midget, it would break her heart. Come on, I've got a plan. There, now try to act like a baby. Go, go. Perfect. We hit the jackpot, Lump. <laughs> Nothing can stop us now. That's what he thinks. First, we'll snag Penny with the gagger grappler. Dollar, you would lead Lump outside the house. I'll be waiting with the estate paddy wagon. Go, go, go. Move it, Penny. We got six more safes to rob. Go, go. Demolish me? Huh? Where'd you get that tail, Penny? Uh-oh. Hey, you ain't Penny. You're a mutt. <laughs> Yo, time for Papa Bear to sweat. <laughs> I know. I'll catch him with my jet-powered skateboard. And you're never going to catch up with Lump. <laughs> That's what he thinks. Okay, Dollar, full power. <laughs> this ought to stop him. Hey, it's getting hot in here. How's my darling little Penny baby? I can't wait to see her. Penny's father inherited a fortune and came back for her. How wonderful! She has a good home with solid walls, her own TV, and three meals a day. Cute <laughs> <laughs> little Penny, time for your baby bath. This boy is running out of steam. Why did he run out of steam so soon? He didn't fuel up. With a good breakfast. Cheerio! Like this good, nutritious breakfast with toast, juice, milk, and yummy Cheerios, which has almost no sugar. When you fuel up in the morning with a Cheerios breakfast, it'll really get you going. Cheerio! Fast Ones Dynaloop set for the Blazin' Bandit and one of a kind Fast Ones license plate. And now to be the Fast Ones Dynaloop champion. Huh? That's you. Will it really loop the loop? Sure, why? Come Beat that! There it goes. Dynaloop! I win! Fast Ones Dynaloop set with Fast Ones Blazin' Bandit Racer. You have to put it together. New from Kenner. Wow, what I wouldn't give for a nice, cool drink of lemonade right now. Even a drink of water. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here, let me lend a paw, Uncle Scooby. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome, Uncle Scooby. Any water? Empty. Oh, no. We've got to find an oasis in a hurry. Hey, look, guys! We're in luck! Yahoo! Wow! A soft drink stand! Yippee! Yeah! <laughs> hey! Hooray! Like three tall lemonades and don't spare the ice cubes. <laughs> now that's fast service. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh no. It was only a mirage. You mean we're only seeing things, Uncle Scooby? Yeah. 
<laughs> Gee, maybe we thought this large pile of sand was a soft drink stand. How about that? Like the hot sun in this old Egyptian desert can sure play tricks on the eyes, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Look, Uncle Scooby, another trick. What? <laughs> like that's no trick, that's a windstorm. Like run like the wind. <laughs> I've had sand in my shoes, but this is too much. <laughs> Scooby. <laughs> Lappy? No, no. Lappy? Lappy? <laughs> Where are you? I'm down here, Uncle Scooby. Huh? <laughs> Look, Uncle Scooby. Look what the windstorm did. Zoinks! A pyramid! Scrappy, come back! Just think, a real live pyramid. Like real dead is more like it. Dead? <laughs> yeah, the ancient pharaohs of Egypt are like buried in pyramids. Scrappy, come back! Scrappy? Scrappy? Oh boy, Scrappy, Scrappy Doo, where are you? Where are you? <laughs> Come on, Scoob. Let's check out that tunnel. Okay. Scrappy. Like, what a time for Scrappy to wander off. Scrappy! Scrappy! Are you down there? Yeah! 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 <laughs> Scooby? Yeah. Right? Look! Zoinks! <laughs> it's alive! Oh no! Oh, it's alive! <laughs> Hi, Uncle Scooby! <laughs> Scrappy! Yeah! See? Ooh! Scrappy! <laughs> like, come on, guys! Let's get out of this place! Zoinks! <laughs> <laughs> That's a mummy, and it's moving! Oh. Let's us move! <laughs> Let me at him, Uncle Scooby. I'll run and rag it! Right? Uncle Scooby, a boat. Hey, let's take a ride. No, Rappy, no. All aboard. Come on, Uncle Scooby, it's easy. Follow me, Scoob. Zoinks! Zoinks! No, crocodiles. No. 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 Wait for me! Yeah! Hey, you crunks can't do that to my Uncle Scooby and Shaggy! Hey! No! No, no! Da -da 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 -da. Ah. Hold it! No, Scrappy! No, Rabbit! This way, please! Hey, like nice going, Scrappy. Yeah, right going. I learned it all from my Uncle Scooby. <laughs> oh. Scooby? 
I bet you knew that old mummy was nothing all the time, huh? <laughs> What's that? Zoinks! Lads! Why are we rushing? <laughs> Go be do we do? Hello, what? Okay, keep you guys, hang on. You can pretend just cause she's learning to walk. Tippy toes, she goes down without any socks. Attached and push. Your parents have to put it together. Move from the top. Your Honor, let's look at the evidence. New Dinky Donut cereal looks like little donuts. But it stays crispy in milk. And it's fortified with eight vitamins. Plus iron. Dinky Donut cereal is a good part of this nutritious breakfast. And, and we rest our case. Why? The judge ate the evidence. I couldn't help it. The case is closed. New Dinky Donuts looks and tastes like little donuts. But it's really a delicious cereal. I love it. Professor Canebean's new robot is so top secret we have to keep all the doors locked. Luckily, I have a key to his laboratory. Yo, yo, yo. Hi, Professor. <laughs> well, that's strange. I don't remember assembling you two robots. You didn't. I'm Richie, and this is Dollar. <laughs> You're just in time to see my greatest achievement of all. The Super Robot. <laughs> He's equipped with every known security device. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> See, Richie, it's absolutely foolproof. Great, Professor. We can build an army of super guards to protect every bank in the world. Special bulletin. In a daring daytime jailbreak, the infamous Dr. Disguise and his accomplice, The Onion, have just escaped from prison. Gosh, Richie, with Dr. Disguise on the loose, your super robot could be in real danger. That's true, Gloria. I better hide my key to the robot factory just in case. Why not give it to me? No one would suspect a girl. Good idea. <laughs> Dollar, you've never growled at Gloria before. Oh, um, he probably didn't get enough dog biscuits for lunch. Yuck! <laughs> Hold on. Gloria would know Dollar hates dog biscuits. There's something funny going on. Hey, cut it out! Just as I suspected, Dr. Disguise. You may have unmasked me, but you'll never catch me. <laughs> It's my one weakness. <laughs> my plan worked perfectly. I got the key to the robot factory. Great! Once we steal that super robot, we can rob the U.S. Mint. And best of all, Richie Rich will be blamed for it. <laughs> Well, Dollar, there's no sign of Dr. Disguise yet. Let's check the rest of the estate. Ha! 
dog. Who goes there? It's just Richie's dog. That's what you think. Okay, Onion, now. <laughs> <laughs> it was my pleasure. <laughs> this smell o vision detector will help us sniff out some clues. Hmm. Huh? Huh? Robot is in danger. Oh, oh, no, no, it's not, Richie. I'm moving it to a safer place. Good thinking, Professor. Aren't you forgetting something, Professor? You're not as clever as you think, Richie Rich, because your own robot is about to render you helpless. This net is made of steel. And now we shall clean out the U.S. Mint, and there's no one to stop us! Yeah! <laughs> Dollar, we've got to break out of here, and there's only one way to do it. <laughs> With my bow tie bus saw. <laughs> now, let's get after those crooks. Mr. Gomez? Why, Richie, I see you have brought your super robot to guard the mint. Wrong! I've brought it to rob the mint! <laughs> huh? What are you doing? Richie, what has come over you? Are you ill? Yes, I think I've got gold fever! <laughs> I hope we're not too late. Chief of Police, you're not going to believe this, but Richie Rich just robbed the U.S. Mint. Mr. Gomez, there are crooks headed this way to rob the Mint. This is no time for jokes, young man. I saw you and your robot empty those vaults with my own eyes. So that's it. Dr. Disguise dressed up like me so everyone would think that I did it. Come on, Dollar. We've got to catch the real crooks. <laughs> this is all very confusing. Was easy as pie. Yeah, onion pie. <laughs> <laughs> Knock it off and head for the hideout. They've got a big head start. Hold on, Dollar. I'm switching to retro rockets. <laughs> It's them. Dollar. <laughs> <laughs> It's Richie Rich's metal and mutt. I'll get rid of him! <laughs> you okay, Dollar? <laughs> The brat is gaining on us! Okay, Onion, use your ultimate weapon! Right, boss! <laughs> Hang on, Dollar! We've got a flat! <laughs> <laughs> That steamroller's headed straight for us! <laughs> There's only one person that can help us! <laughs> oh my! Richie is in trouble! By Rona to the rescue! <laughs> Cheer up, Dollar. Here comes Irona. You beat Richie. Irona, you've got to stop that steamroller. I'll flatten you before you can flatten my Richie. Huh? Hi. Thanks, Irona. If you need me again, just holler. 
Luckily, those crooks drove through the fresh asphalt and left tracks. There they are. One for you, two for me. One for you, two for me. One for you, two for me. Hold on, you're cheating. If you've got any complaints, argue with the robot. Okay, boss. Forget it. I've got to get that remote control. I know. Professor Keen means invisible paint should do the trick. Dollar, you wait here while I take care of the crooks. One for you, two for me. One for you, two for me. One for you, two for me. One for you. Hey, what's the big idea swiping my gold? I didn't touch your gold. I may be a crook, but I ain't dishonest. We'll see about that. <laughs> Take that. Uh, uh, who did that? Richie Rich, who else? And now my super robot guard will do the job it was designed to do. Capture crooks. He's destroyed the robot! Let's head for the truck! Now to activate the gold magnetizer. No. Factor disguise an onion. I just hope I never see those crooks again. Never see those crooks again. <laughs> Cheer up, old pal. Half a dollar is better than none. <laughs> <laughs> Snowman and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer get together to save a doomed circus in Rudolph and Frosty's Christmas in July. Now stay tuned for the girl who has it all, Goldie Gold. It's the Goldie Gold and Action Jack Thunder Adventure Hour, following Schoolhouse Rock, next on ABC. Digital Derby, ladies and gentlemen. Tiny Heel starts out cautiously. He jams his car to second gear. Now third, he's really moving. The traffic is tight, but Tiny Heel's in the lead. Look out, Tommy! Too bad. Tiny Heel's out of the race. Tommy, you had a rough time out there. What happens now? Will you retire? Retire? I'm only eight years old. Oh, yeah. Battery's not included. Digital Derby Auto Raceway comes complete with lap counter and timer by Tommy.
you want delicious chocolate, there's no need to go looking very far. Hershey's great! Cause Hershey is the great American, great American chocolate bar. One flaky time machine and a future chick named a cupcake. Oh, now the gang got zapped into that time machine and they're like traveling through time. My, my. They do not think where that machine is going, but they sure hope to get back to 1957 Milwaukee. Can you dig it? Yeah! These are the new Stomper SSC Super Cycles. Cycles with a speed you power with a quick pull on the red cord. You can race them with a friend, or you can set up your own daredevil stunt course indoors or out. The Stomper SSC Super Cycles are cycles with speed. Stomper SSC Super Cycles, each sold separately or in sets. New from Shopper. Return with Mons and the Happy Days game. Hold tight, guys. We'll all be over in a minute. That's what we're afraid of, Cupcake. It's always the cronionic disruption of the molecular configuration of the time void. It's nothing to be alarmed about. Thanks for clearing that up for us. But can't you do something about it? Well, I'd be trying this lever. No! Where'd you go? Ralph? Richie? Hey, where'd everybody split to? Hey, where'd they split to? I don't know, Fonzie. I just pulled this lever and they disappeared. Yes. Mr. Cool, are you okay? Oh. <laughs> well, there's Richie. Now, where's Ralph? Hey! Right here, Fonz. All right, everybody, just stay cool. Oh, you got a wow of an electrical storm going out there. Don't worry, Fonzie. It'll all be okay as long as the lightning doesn't hit the time machine. Cosmic calamities! It's a power blackout! All right, nobody panic. Not panic? But there's not even energy to work my joy buzzer or light my electric nose. That's really a shame, Ralph. Thanks, Rich. I knew you'd understand. All right, the battery definitely needs a recharge. That's easy. It's a solar battery, so all we need is the sun. I may not be able to find 1957, but how can I miss the sun? <laughs> if there's a way, you'll miss it. You missed the sun, all right. We've landed at night. Huh? Moon craters! All right, all right, so we're a few hours off. It's better than being stuck in that time storm, right? Thanks, Fonzie. Hey, don't you mention it. Now, what year are we talking here, Cupcake? Let's see. Great galaxy, we're in 3057, 1100 years in the future. 1100 years in the future? Wow. Think of all the blind dates I've missed. Ralph. All right, what do you say we get some camping gear? Sleep under the stars tonight. Okay, yeah. Sounds like fun. fun yeah. yeah, let's do it. Hey, Randy, come on, let's rush. All right, cool. You grab the gear, you pick the spot. Thanks, Randy. All right. <laughs> all, right, all right, easy, easy, Mr. Cool, Mr. Cool. Let go of the leather. Right. That's it. Now tell me what the problem is. <laughs> what? Uh, I, th I think we know what the problem is, Fonz. Yeah, what is it, Cunningham? I, I mean, it's only a guess. But I think it's them. Ah! <laughs> ah! Run for it, Fonz! All right, the Fonz don't run from anybody, Ralph. Yeah, on the other hand, what, uh, uh, uh what are these, th uh, let, uh, let's take off, Mr. Cool. Red Blondie! Ah! 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 All right, maybe.
maybe this will teach you guys to pick on somebody your own shape. <laughs> your own shape. You will regret that, human! Something tells me he means that, Fonz. Stand back, everybody! I can handle this! Oh, no! We're doomed! All right, time out, couple. It's like a hold it. What did I tell you? Mr. Cool, get up here! Get the humans! On the double, Mr. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> he taunts us, but not for long. What's he trying to do? I can't watch. Hey, it's all right. He knows what he's doing. I hope he knows what he's doing. <laughs> it's Kenner's new Betty Crocker Quick and Thick Shake Machine. Four D batteries not included. Pour in your milk. Add the mix. Turn it on. It's fun to fix. Quick and thick, quick and thick, shake the sheen. Fast or slow, round and round, tastes so good when she drinks it down. Quick and thick, quick and thick, shake the sheen. Mmm, it's thick. Betty Crocker quick and thick shake machine with six mixes, new from Kenner. Hey, bring that back. You guys stay here. Stop them, Ponzi. All right, you creeps. Open up and hand over that time machine. I'm talking to you, stinkos. They never come out in the sunlight. Well, hello there. And who do we have here? My name is Ilona. <laughs> and he ain't kidding. <laughs> Take it easy, cool. <laughs> what she got that I haven't got? That's a tough question, Cupcake. Right, Rich. Like, what hasn't she got? You come from 1957? Indeed we do. Me and my friends here. This is Richie. And this is Ralph. And the most wonderful pooch this side of the Pecos, Mr. Cool. All right, all right. Yeah. Hello. And welcome to you all. And I'm Cupcake. We came in my time machine. Is that what the Crolax took inside? Crolax? Yeah, well, whoever they are, we got to get that time machine back. Please, wait. You must know what you are getting into. Come with me. This is where you live? Cosmic Comets, it's beautiful. No gate? Aren't you afraid of those Crolax? Oh, there's a gate there. Ouch! Hey! The Russians think I'm invisible, Reverend Murphy. It is clear now. You may enter. Thanks, Ilona. Ooh, hey! Who are these strangers? Not strangers, Controller. Friends. The Crolax have stolen their vehicle. Please allow them inside. I sure hope there ain't more like him at home. Oh, right. I think I'd rather take my chances with the Crolax. You may enter on one condition. You must each wear a bracelet to signify union with the city. We all wear them. Oh, yeah? How come he don't? He is the controller. That's good enough for me, Fonz. I think they're kind of pretty. This way. I think I'll just keep mine in my pocket. You know, I got a rep and everything. Yeah, me too. I got a rep. <laughs> in the history of our world and the world of the Crolax. Hmm. It is not working. Let me have a crack at it there, Iona. Ilona. Right. And I have a way with machines, you know? That's... that's wonderful. Fonzie! Look! Lake lasers! We're done for! <laughs> Do not be afraid. It is only a movie. Yeah, that's what they said about Frankenstein. <laughs> At the end of the Great War, civilization became divided into those who lived above the ground and the evil ones who carved cities under the earth. The darkness and strange gases from the earth turned them into Crolax. Crolax cannot survive in the sunlight. Ronzie? Yeah. Ronzie? All right, Mr. Cole, what is it this time? <laughs> Cupcake. Rich, where are you going? Ralph, what's going on here? Yikes! 
So, you did not wear the bracelets after all. What? Me niece. Uh-huh, something tells me there's something strange going on around here. <laughs> but you'll never find out. Oh, yeah? Well, we'll see about that. Hey, all right, what's this? Just something to ensure you don't disrupt things in the city. <laughs> oh, no! They come! They come! More workers for us from the city! All right, we gotta get out of here, cool. Oh, I got this bad feeling that Cupcake and the guys are in real trouble. Yeah! What do we do, Wendy? Hey, what's this? Huh? Might be a trap door, right? Yeah, yeah, trap door! All right, you want to check it out? Yeah. Mr. Cool, take it away. Oof. Hey, that's the trap door, all right. That old controller picked the wrong place to try and trap us, huh? Good work, Cool. Hey. Oh, I see him, I see him. Yeah, Cool. All right, follow the fonts. Yeah. Richie Mouse, come on, stop. <laughs> you don't know where you're doing. You don't know where you're going. Rich! Close the doors. Oh. All right, all right. Come on, you cowards. Open up and face me, man, the Krolak. What happened to us? Where are we? The Krolak's got Richie and Ralph. Oh, no, it has happened again. People disappear and never return. The Krolaks have some strange power over us. They haven't seen power till they've met me, you know what I mean? You've got to help me find a way in there. In there? Yeah. In the world of the Krolaks? Richie! Where are we? How did we get here? I don't know, Ralph. But what do we do? Pull! Pull! I think we pull, Ralph. You are new? Right. Richie Cunningham. Very pleased to meet you. After you've been here five days, you will turn into one of them. A Krolak. Ask him how long he's been here, Rich. <laughs> About five days, Ralph. These old library maps might be able to tell us something. Wow, they look like gumballs. Watch. Hey, instant maps. Now, that's cool. That's cool. This is one of the oldest. If there was ever any other way in, this map would show it. Here's the city, and here's the entrance to the world of the Krolax. Yeah, yeah. All right, now, what's this over here? It, it looks like a tunnel. I did hear of one once. But no one knew where it was. Well, we do now. All right, everybody, stick close. This place gives me the creeps, Foxy. Ditto, ditto, you know? I hate to think about Malf and Cunningham trapped down there. And I hate to think of us trapped down here! Whoop! Yikes! Ah! See, do your stuff. Run for it. <laughs> ah! Welcome to the world of the Krolax. <laughs> what do you think, Fonzie? Well, in a word, Cuppus, own Kratos. <laughs> Alright, calm down, Cupcake. We will think of something. Leave this bunch to me, Fonzie. I'll give them a zap they'll never forget. Alright, just be careful, alright? Just be careful. Like always. <laughs> now you are ours. I did it! I stopped them! Yeah, yeah, you did. You also stopped us. So right now we got no way out of here. Now, all right, just follow me and we'll have Rich and Ralph back in no time. We will get you yet, human! Yeah, well, don't count your humans before they're hatched. Rich, we gotta get out of here before we turn into Krolax. Right, and I got just the plan. Anything, anything. It all depends on you, Ralph. Anything but that, Rich. I'm undependable. I crack under pressure. Pull! Pull! Pull, humans! All right, right. Yes, sir. One of your smoke bombs could confuse the Prolax and hide our escape. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? Get ready to run, Rich. What was that? A dud smoke bomb? Worse. It was my petrified frog. And it broke. <laughs> 
Get a grip on yourself, Ralph. You got any glue on you, Rich? Will you toss the smoke bomb quick? What are you doing, humans? Now run! I can't see! We're safe! <laughs> We're sunk! Come back here, human! Rich, wait up! Wait up for me! Our time machine! Our time machine! What do we do now, Rich? Run! Running is good. I'll buy running. Galloping galaxy, this is incredible. Now all we gotta do is find a trouble twins. They came this way. Quickly, you fools. Cupcake, cool, this way. If you say so, Fonzie. I say so. Cool, come on, get a move on. This way. Come on, Cool. Stop clowning around and get up here. <laughs> cool, you're ripping the zip. <laughs> All right, let's split. Once the timer is set, it's just you against the clock. When moments are ticking away, something has got to run out first. The clock or you. Well, you can run yourself ragged. Run yourself ragged by Domi. Lots of American kids are discovering soccer. It's a real kick. But to be good, you've got to use your head. That's why we made the soft Nerf soccer ball. It makes those unexpected hard shots soft. And because it's kid-sized, it's easy to play with. Whether you're playing a fast game, practicing the important shots, or just horsing around. Also available, Nerf Hoop, Nerf Ball, and Super Nerf. The Nerf Soccer Ball from Parker Brothers. Have you seen the time machine? It's over that way. Come on, I'll show you. There it is, along with the Krolak Patrol. You want me to zap him, Fonzie? Oh, no, 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 please, please. We have enough zapping for one day, all right? I want them to you here. I want them. Bring me those four humans. Hey, and the rag. Don't forget the rag. And the dog. <laughs> there they are. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's right. You really did it this time, cool. Everybody, look for an exit sign. But what about the time machine? One thing at a time, Cuppas. Let's save us first. After the humans. After that. Where do we go now, Fonz? How should I know? Uh, oh, excuse me. Could you direct us to the exit? That way! Thank you so much. Humans! The humans are escaping! Faster! Faster! Last one to the surface is a Krolak! It won't open! It won't open! All right, now everybody lend a hand and push. Push your little hearts out. They're coming! It's open! Sunlight! No! Close the doors! Looks like you saved us, cool old pal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> friends, you're safe! You're right, but the Krolaks still have our time machine. We're gonna have to do something about that. Can't we do it tomorrow, Fonz? I've had enough excitement for one day. You think today was exciting, my friend? Wait until tonight! <laughs> to the city! You told me the field would be down! And it will be, as soon as you promise me to take only the strangers and Ilona. You have the word of the Krolak! Then welcome to the city! <laughs> Who was it, Ralph? Trust me, Rich, you don't want to know. But I can't stop you from guessing. Bye! <laughs> in our room! Really, Fonz, a Krolak! I know, Mal. 
two of them are just getting away with Cupcake and Ilona. Fonzie, help! Oh, no! We gotta save them! You mean go after the Krolax? It's only fair, Ralph. They saved us. Fair is one thing, Rich. Stupid is another. Come on. Not again. If I ever get my hands free, you're gonna get such a zap. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody help! They're just up ahead. Hurry! So what have we here? Weak human females? Weak human females? You've obviously never heard of women's lib. Okay, pal, the game's over. You want to push somebody around? How about trying it with us? Him. Try it with him. Spoken like a true coward, Ralph. Thanks, Rich. Ah! Now we'll have them all! Grab them! Fonzie! The Krolax! Run! My hands are free! I can zap like I've never zapped before! Fonzie, watch out! I see the Krolax, Cunningham. No! I mean watch out for Cupcake! Look! Don't worry, guys! I know exactly what I'm doing! I don't believe it! She shrunk the time machine! Is that how it was supposed to work? Not exactly. Are you all right? I'm real sorry, Fonzie. Hey, don't worry about a thing, Cuppers. Now it's pocket size. So we can take it out with us. Good work, Cupcake. They couldn't get along without me, you know. They must start a steam! Bring me the one called Fonzie! Sorry, big fella. But I'm not up for grabs. Now's our chance. Head for the surface. We're free! We made it! Yikes! The controller! You escaped again. Well, you won't escape from me. I really don't advise that controller, you see. I don't like people threatening me, that's one. And I especially don't like people touching my leather. Yuri! You will not escape from the controller. I don't believe it. Me neither. The controller was a robot. Fonzie, you have saved my people from the Krolax. Not to mention from that controller creep. Those Krolax are still down there, you know? But the entrance is sealed up and they won't be bothering you again. Now, if we can just get our time machine back to size, we can try for 1957. Yo! Don't worry, Ralph. It'll just zap back to size by itself. Probably when we least expect it. You better do something quick about this, Cuppers, or you're going to get a Fonzarelli zap when you most expect it. Jumping Jupiter! Inside the Stomper 4x4's Wild Mountain set, you'll find two Stomper 4x4's trucks. And when you power them up with batteries you buy separately, the lights go on and four road-grabbing wheels go to work with four-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive means you can climb right over the mountain road park. You can tackle almost any surface, almost any incline, because four-wheel drive means power.
Stomper 4x4's Wild Mountain set has everything you see here. Other sets and vehicles sold separately. From Shopper. Hey, Dad. Mm -hmm. Meet my new friend, Harry. Teach him to be kind to Harry. And they can make him wait, too. Oh, 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 oh. Harry is fun, Harry is fun, What you can make him do. It's so sweet loving Harry. Here's why Harry goes where you want him to. Harry's so much fun. He's a Harry fun. Comes just as you see here from Knickerbocker. Goldie Gold, the world's richest girl. And Action Jack. Daredevil reporter for Goldie's newspaper, The Gold Street Journal. By air. By sea. By the seat of their pants. They travel the world in search of adventure. Jack. We now return with Goldie Gold and Action Jack. All clear for Landy? You got it, Goldie. Welcome home. <laughs> you too, Nugget. Aren't you Jack Travis, the reporter who works for Goldie Gold's newspaper? I'm Professor Harker. Uh, where's our hostess? She flew to Hawaii this morning on business, but she should have been back by... That's Goldie now! What took you so... I know you like me, Jack, but you don't have to fling yourself at my feet. This way, Goldie. You've got to greet your guests. Yes? I... Oh! oh. Professor! Oh. Oh. Professor Harker. Not yet, they haven't. Hurry! Goldie, you're going the wrong way. You can't chase them indoors in a helicopter. Oh, yeah? Just watch me. Well, you're not going to chase them alone.
do? Rock me to sleep? Whoa! We go to the newspaper office and we look for a lead. It appears we have a problem, my warriors. A problem by the name of Goldie Gold. She has chosen to meddle in the plans of the Crystal Skull, and she must therefore be eliminated. After them! paper, Goldie, but I'm the editor, and I want to know why you're poking around in my files. If you must know, Professor Harker was captured and taken from my party tonight. Thomas Harker? The guy who designed this country's space satellites? And two Air Force men named Bolin and Ripley, the astronauts? I think Sam's trying to say this might be important, Jack. Put it this way. With Harker's knowledge and those two flyboys under control, a man could destroy the Earth. What's wrong, Nugget? The warriors! They're here! Oh, no! You're not getting away twice! Goldie, don't! Jack, meet me downstairs! Hurry! You're crazy, Goldie! You hear me? Loud and clear, Sam! the slip again. They couldn't have gotten far. Goldie, honey, is that you? How about Joe? What are you doing here? I moved to this alley a couple of months ago. Uh, mm, not to interrupt the reunion, but you didn't happen to see a couple of Inca warriors run by, did you? My good man, those guys didn't run by. They lammed out of here in a black limo. Thanks, Joe. You've been an enormous help. For you, sweetheart, anything. <laughs> Jack, look! The black limo. Get going, Goldie! Just our luck. A train. They could be out of the country before we even see the caboose. You give up much too easily. What's that? I put us in hover mode. Hang on tight. We'll catch up with them in no time. A pity we could not dispose of Goldie Gold permanently. But at least she can interfere no more. No! It can't be! Destroy them! Destroy them! Are you okay? Oh, no, she's out cold. It's no use, Nug. We're trapped like canned salmon. What's that? We're leaking. Hope you can swim, Nugget. If we're gonna survive, it 
it's up to me to save us. But how? There's so many nutty gadgets in this car. I don't know which one is which. Emergency seal and passenger eject. Here goes. Son of a gun. An airtight seal. We made it. Soggy, maybe, but safe and sound. Looks like the Incas and their glass-headed pal are gone. But who's complaining? We can use their transportation. What, what, what happened? Are we safe? We're fine. Now you just rest. Save your energy for the trip to Peru. Peru? Peru. Unless I miss my guess, that's where we'll find Professor Harker and the astronauts. I still don't get it. Why Peru? Peru was the location of the ancient Incan Empire, Goldie. And that weird mask the warrior's leader was wearing? It's molded after the crystal skull artifacts found in the Incan ruins. Peru's a big country, Jack. How will we find them? If you were an Incan, trying to hide out in the modern world, where would you go? How about an ancient Incan stronghold? High on a mountaintop and almost impossible to get to. Machu Picchu, of course! Does she think she can find us here? Miss Gold is most resourceful. I think we can expect her to pay us a surprise call, but the surprise will be hers. <laughs> Too bad we couldn't take the copter, but old Skullface would have heard us a mile away. It's okay. I packed some other special equipment just in case. How much further to go? Oh, not much. Another five or six hundred feet. An airplane. We're under attack. Jack, Nugget, this way. I brought along something just for the occasion. Declared ruler of the world! 
I think he's crazy. Let them fall, but slowly. You won't get away with this, you bubblehead. I hope. at the party was a fake to throw suspicion off him. A guy who could build a spaceship didn't need to capture a satellite scientist. So the skull had to be Harker himself. You stand guard on him, Nug. If he tries anything, bark, and I'll come running. So much for the case of the crystal skull. Sorry, Jack. Didn't mean to scare you. 
What do you think? Should I save it for Halloween? Separately, Nerf Hoop, Nerf Ball, and Super Nerf. Nerf Basketball from Parker Brothers. Crayon! Is it hard to put on? It takes practice, but it's fun. Crayon children's play cosmetics are each sold separately and washed off with plain soap and water. Crayon! Eyeshadow! Their eyes look mysterious! Crayon! Nail polish! I love it! Crayon, lipstick, eyeshadow, nail polish, and cologne are each sold separately. New from Remco. We now return to our program. Space Stars will return after these messages. Presenting Ronald McDonald and Rock and McLeod. Hit one, two, three, four. There's nothing to it. Play-Doh construction set. You can build a garage on top of the ridge, then roll out a road in front of the bridge. Play-Doh. You can press out pretend bricks, asphalt, wood, and cement. Then you can tear up the road, smooth it out, and start all over again. One more pipe and this project's done. The Play-Doh construction set's lots of fun. You can make it with Play-Doh. Play-Doh construction set with four mixable colors comes with everything you see here. New from Kenner. 